Well, tell us about this season and the, the expectations that uh, must be with this team this year. Yeah, so coming off a very successful year last year, we're looking to produce definitely, and um, we have so far, and it's, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, uh, Yeah. going off what Anthony said, uh, we lost a lot of seniors last year and a lot of leadership, but we look for guys to step up, and so far they have. Has there been a big game for you guys this year that uh, – that important game for Rick uh, Yeah, hoops. I think one of our, our two best games were Amesbury and Linfield. Uh, Amesbury, we just moved the ball really well and scored a lot of points, got a lot of easy hoops, and uh, we produced really well. And in the Linfield game, you guys came up short. Yeah, Linfield, we came up short, but uh, we fought. We were up in the first half and then just kind of lost in the second, but we fought hard. Yeah, and they're a very good team this year. Yeah, yeah they they have a lot of really good guys coming back, so we, we expected it was going to be a good game. It was, and we showed that we can compete with them down the road, so that's good. If you were to do a shout-out to one of your teammates or a couple of your teammates who uh, contributed in, in, in an important way for this year's North Reading team, who might you single out? Um, I would definitely single out Bob O'Donnell. He's had a huge year, obviously. Really good football player, and um, he's been coming up really big for us, grabbing a lot of boards, uh, giving some nice points, so let's go. Uh, that was good. Yeah, for yourself? Um, Sean Tilton, who was a junior last year, didn't get a lot of playing time, sat on the bench a little bit, but didn't stop him from working hard in the offseason, coming back as a senior this year and being one of our uh, highest point scorers. And Matt Slucky, who's a, actually a sophomore, has been getting a lot of minutes, helping out a lot. A lot.